seem to improve air quality and environmental sustainability. Topic Eco friendly gas initiative for sustainable cooking in Bisniati, Ghana. Program statement Bisniati's reliance on biomass fuel for cooking leads to poor air quality and a health health outcome, including respiratory disease and COPD. This project seeks to provide clear flow alternatives to improve air quality and reduce health risk. Hypothesis We hypothesize that using organic fuel, such as food, charcoal, and kerosene stored for cooking, is mostly associated with negative health issues in the science compared to the other households using cleaner alternatives. Methodology Design We conducted a house survey in the science. Data collection We collected data on the type of fuel used by the household. Data analysis was done using SPSS. In conclusion, through our analysis, we found out that the use of traditional fuel, such as food, charcoal, and clothing for cooking, is mostly associated with health issues. Restorement. Through restorement, our team came out with this possible solution, that the production of hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas has more advantages than this disadvantage compared to the others. The name of the project is Eco-Friendly Gas Project. Hydrogen gas does not produce carbon emission, but water when used. The reaction of aluminum metal with water in the presence of sodium hydroxide as a catalyst produces hydrogen gas and sodium aluminate as byproducts. Using aluminum water reactions to produce hydrogen gas emits no greenhouse gases. Aluminum straps are fed to the reaction chamber where it will act to sodium hydroxide solution near room temperature with the production of hydrogen gas and sodium aluminate as byproducts. The reaction is a thermic, that is, that amount of heat is produced. There is a cooling system in place where water surrounding the reaction chamber is pumped. It circulates around the chamber and passes through copper pipes at the back and mixes with water for cooling, mixes with water for cooling, and then back around the system. This helps to cool the system. The warm hydrogen gas and water vapor passes through another copper pipes at the back to be cooled, and then passes through a filter where moisture is extracted. The gas then comes out to be used for cooking and power generators. The excess hydrogen gas can be stored in a hydrogen gas reservoir, which contains a tube. The, it gives a bell sound when it's almost full. The glass in the tube must be used before another reaction takes place in the chamber. The solution container, which contains a solution of sodium hydroxide solution and, or water, can be added when the reaction is getting slow. Water gets into the solution container through the water in. The system has a pressure gauge, which is used to determine the pressure of hydrogen gas in the reaction chamber. It also has a multi thermometer, which is used to determine the temperature around the chamber. The water level detector, powered by a solar, gives a signal when the level of water in the water for cooling decreases. The byproduct, that is sodium aluminate, comes out through the waste out. This system is powered by a power supply. It contains two rechargeable batteries of 12 volts each. The batteries are connected in parallel. The 12 volts passes through a connector, which converts it to AC, ranging from 220 to 250 volts, which can use to power lights, charge phones, or flash screens, and ETC. It has its own USB slot and its own power supply. The batteries can be charged using electricity or solar of 18 volts. Economic importance. It is versatile. It is eco-friendly. It is self-sustaining. It creates job opportunities for others and it is cost-effective. The challenges we faced were cohesion of equipment, availability of tools and equipment, maintaining a safe reaction condition, hydrogen gas storage and financial support. In conclusion, the eco-friendly gas project not only provides a an immediate benefit to our community, but can serve as a model for future innovation.